optical fiber communication system so let us see how optical fibers are used to communicate the data or signals from one point to another point so whenever we speak or if two persons are speaking in a telephone or a mobile phone those signals are what those signals are analog signals or any type of signals maybe a musical signal maybe an audio signal maybe a digital signal any type of signal can be transmitted to through the optical fibers so when you are speaking through a telephone that is an analog signal what we speak is an analog signal this analog signal is converted into an electrical signal and fed to the transmitter so this is the transmitter which consists of a derived circuit and an light source so the work of this derived circuit is convert the electrical signals the received electrical signals are converted into digital signals in this derived circuit so once when these signals are converted into digital signals these signals are fed to the light source so once when it enters the light source all the digital signals will be converted into optical pulses so only the optical pulses can be transmitted inside the optical fiber once when it is converted into optical pulses it is transmitted through the optical fiber to the receiver so at the receiver end you have a photo detector and signal restorer so this the work of the photo detector is to convert the optical signal into electrical signals so the electrical signals which are detected by a photo detector may be weak so it has to be amplified so for this purpose we are using an amplifier in the receiver so these amplified signals are converted into signal restorer where again it is converted into digital uh, electrical signals and the electrical pulses are driven to analog signals the electrical pulses or electrical signals are again converted into analog signals and the same signals can be heard in the receiver end so this is how an optical fiber is used for communicating data from one point to another point light sources for optical fibers light sources for optical fibers the most commonly used light sources in optical fibers are led light emitting diodes and semiconductor lasers so le first let us see about led led is a pn junction diode which directly converts electrical energy into light energy this pn this pn junction this led works on the principle of injection luminescence that is when this pn junction is forward biased the majority carriers from n region moves to p region forming an excess minority carriers in p region and similarly the majority carriers from p region moves to n region forming excess minority carriers in n region these minority carriers diffuse in the depletion layer and they recombine with the majority carriers in the n region and p region respectively forming or producing light photons so let us see how light photon is produced by using this led so this led consists of a pn junction and heavily doped pn junction the pn junction is formed by doping silicon with gallium arsenide silicon with gallium arsenide so why silicon is used as a dopant because silicon is used as a dopant because it can act as a donor as well as an acceptor so this is doped with an heavily doped with silicon and gallium arsenide so the upper part of the uh, p type material is left transparent so for the production of light energy and the ohmic contacts are made by using aluminum and now when the diode is forward biased the majority carriers in the n region the majority carriers in the n region are electrons and the majority carriers in the p region are holes so when it is forward bias the majority carriers in the end region crosses the junction crosses the junction and they become excess minority carriers in p region similarly the excess 
the majority carriers in the P region. The majority carriers in P region are holes. So these holes cross the junction and they form excess minority carriers in N region. So at the, the, at the junction, these two, these minority carriers diffuse and they recombine with the majority carriers in N region and P region respectively forming or producing light protons at the junction. Light protons at the junction. So the light energy is emitted from the P region. So this is how light energy, electrical energy is directly converted into light energy by using an LED, light emitting diodes. So why light emitting diodes are commonly used for communication purpose in optical fibers? Because these LEDs are very cheap, they can operate in a very low voltage, these are some of the advantages for which LEDs can be used in optical fiber communication.